Another popular subject, of course, prior to surgery is anesthesia. And people want to know about anesthesia before surgery. What do they need to know? And what are my anesthesia options? Well, most people know not to eat or drink prior to surgery 12 hours. But since I do surgery at 12 noon, usually, we do allow things like high blood pressure medication. So with a little bit of water, take your antihypertensives. We do want to keep that under control because if it climbs to a certain level or you know, most people have a little bit of anxiety, they will cancel the case. Then there's blood thinners. Contact your cardiologist or your primary care uh, just to see how many days they want you to stop. It usually ranges from four to five days. Um, aspirin, of course, is the same. Anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen or Aleve. Uh, and then, of course, stimulants, diet pills, and recreational drugs. We have to mention that both legal and illegal. Options vary, uh, but things like uh, conscious sedation are rare. Uh, I usually don't have patients that have bad medical problems uh, who need to stay conscious. Sedation and general anesthesia are the main forms, but we lean more towards general because sedation with a small nasal cannula, you have to give a constant trickle of medication to keep the patient at a certain level. You can wake up, which is not a great situation. And sometimes you'll have more of that anesthesia hangover afterwards. Uh, our light anesthesia, we call it, uh, or light general, uh, they really aren't that harmful because 90% of anesthesia is the airway. And even if you have to have a trachea uh, intubation, it's just to keep it open, just to make sure that you get enough air and nothing's going to collapse. We also use another device called an LMA, which has a little air cushion that goes in the back of the throat, both very, very safe. Don't forget to come to the surgery center early, have your Q&A with your anesthesiologist, and hope this helps out prior to your surgery.